I'm here with interior designer Robin Barron. Robin, what is feng shui and why should homeowners be aware of it in their house? Well, feng shui is the ancient Chinese art of he helping energy flow through your home. It helps to increase the vitality of our lives. It helps increase the energy flow in a positive way in our lives in designing the spaces. It's really come down and in almost into mainstream today. So starting with the living room, how would you make it more feng shui? It would not be my first choice to float the sofas in the middle of the room. Okay. But in this space, you have to take into consideration how the family is going to be living there, who's living there, what their needs are. So functionality first. There's not enough space in this room to be able to put a sofa table behind this sofa, which is my first choice to anchor it. Not if you want to be able to walk back here. Exactly. What happens if they're just floating is that there's no protection for the people living in the space from what's outside. The way that we corrected this is we did drapery panels going to the floor. This protects the space and protects the people living in there. Now the western view out of this window brings in relationships and, and love into the person's life. And it also has the view of the Hudson River and water represents money and financial security and abundance. So it's not just what we have physically in the apartment, it's what you can let into the apartment through the outside as well. Absolutely. So what other little things can we do in this living room? Okay, well I want to add some red in here because I really want to bring the relationships and love into the room and, and pop that color. Okay, so George, we're in the dining room. And what can we do to make this more feng shui? The good news is that we have an eastern window. The eastern view gives you the financial security. It's about money. What's bad is that you're looking at an air shaft. So what we have done here are two remedies. The first one is the fabric on the shade of the window. Okay. This is a case where this should be down, whereas the living room shade should be up. The other thing we've done in here is the very big mirror behind you. It opens up the whole room, but from a feng shui perspective, it gives you the illusion of having the window we really want, and by reflecting the view... From the western. That's exactly right. Now Robin, not every homeowner uses their home office to do work in. This family, they do. What can we do to make this place more feng shui? Number one, when you have a home office, one of the worst things that you could do is have clutter. What you face when you sit in your desk is critical for you. So it, a blank wall is not ideal? No, it's good for meditation, but not for work. You could divide that space in front of your desk into three sections. The center section has to be the inspirational aspect. So Robin, it's crazy how with feng shui, just these little changes can improve the quality of life and, and your state of mind. Absolutely. It's not just the big things. It is doing the little things. Even if you don't know much about feng shui and you are looking for love, add some red into your bedroom or into your living room. The little things make a difference.